Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Halo for an Hour. This is Rhythmos. This is a puzzle maze game that is also a rhythm music game. An interesting blend of puzzle and music. I'm already kind of digging this title screen, honestly. This is pretty stylistic, I like this. Uh, so yeah, I don't know much about this, just that it kind of looked snazzy and had an interesting concept. I want to see where they went with it, so let's see. But of course, before I begin, if you like the video, do think about giving it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, of course, think about coming over to Twitch. We're trying to reach partner over here, but we definitely need more viewers to reach that. So if you want to come by, whether it's a lurk or a talk, think about doing so, because it really does help out. Also, we have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out. I have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content. And I have a merch store if you want to buy some cool items. All links are in the description, so of course, check them out if you're interested. That being said, Rhythmos does it want my mouse or does it want my controller? Controller works just fine. Okay. This is this is a very uh, striking title screen. I like it. Let's see where we got. Char, will you be streaming tomorrow as well? I will be streaming tomorrow as well. The solar system. The Minecraft solar system. Oh, okay. Uh oh. The little music note planetoid creatures unfortunately had their entire galaxy destroyed. That's a shame. Alright. Draw a loop to complete the puzzle. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Alright. Oh, it's going to add to the music, I see. Click and drag to rotate. Oh, you know, I feel like... Is this meant to be play with mouse and keyboard? I'm going to switch. Ah, yes it is. Okay. That makes a little more sense. So click and drag to rotate planet. It's not working. Oh, the planet itself? No. Ah. Oh, there we go. I think I had to click another button to do keyboard controls. All right, what's up what we got here? Hit all sound meters to get gold. Okay. Oh. Retry. Okay. Oh, it's a puzzle game. Can you hit all the sound emitters? If you do it wrong, you can't, so. All right, all right, all right. So you can clear a Valkyrie gold, though, too, but... Also, this is cool. I like this. I already like this quite a bit. Path will draw until it reaches an edge. Okay. So we have to go in straight lines. This is basically like a... Oh, I, that won't work, actually. Restart. This is kind of like... Uh, kind of like how, um, you know, like how golden, Pokemon Gold and Silver have like the ice path puzzles and stuff. This is that, basically. Wait, hold on. So I need to, like, I need to have it reconnect, but I also need to hit all the sound emitters. How would I do that? Can I loop by myself? Oh, I can. Okay. I thought I couldn't cross paths, but I can, so that makes more sense. Path could ever end on itself. Yeah, I kind of figured. Okay. Oh, no, 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 that's not good enough. Let me try. I wanted to, like... Okay, hold on. Yeah, that won't work, so... Unless, of course, it's the actual last move, in which case it can end on itself. Okay. So I'm making a song, based on how I'm drawing things. That's pretty neat, actually. 
It's all combined together. A westernized version of the original instrument called Mabira. The instrument is a so-called lame lamellophone that you play by plucking little tines. Kalimba song! Neat! Welcome to Jambo. Here you can play around and explore the instruments. You can even record your Jambo to a record. so it repeats back. That sounds horrible because I wasn't on beat, but... Also, it actually lets you use... Looks like... Yeah. Tap the ends of it. Tap the ends of what? No, it doesn't, it doesn't change how it plays based on what you click. Oh, you can actually stack it. Okay, I'm learning a few things here. Time is a little tricky with how it's a pluck instrument. Yeah. Time is tricky. It's probably better to press the keys. Make all of the <laughs> Damn it. Alright, I can't I can't I cannot make a tune right now. Let's see. Yeah, because when I press it, I have to press it off off tempo to actually get it to land on tempo. That's the tricky part. I just want to make a simple loop. I'll try it one more time. Can I play Make a Levain with these notes? Let's see. I don't know, not quite. It's got some of the notes, but... One more attempt. I think what's throwing me off is that it's not like a piano, where the notes are having logical progression, like a chord progression going down the line. It's a bit different here, so. It's definitely, a, I think it's a little late for me to, okay, let's go, let's keep going though. I wanna play more puzzles. A little late for me to do rhythm timing, I think. All right, what's next? Oh, that's that's a record. We have we have the Kalimba record. Nice. Kalimba planet saved. Also known as Kame, apparently. Okay, I see the flow. Get golden all puzzles to send the planet in orbit. Oh, okay, I see. All right, next. Let's do the next planet. What we got here? Mapopona. A, a wooden version of the original Mabira instrument dates back to the west coast of Africa about 3,000 years ago. The most popular M Mabira is the metal tined Mabira, which dates back to 1,300 years ago. Oh, wow, there's a bunch of information. Hold on a second. It's really, really easy to click through. Okay. Most of the music played on the kalimbas or mirbas are cross-rhythm or polyrhythmic. In the original music, the left hand plays the bass line of the instrument, while the right hand plays the upper melody. If you're interested in learning about more about this kind of music, you can start listening to Dumisani Mar Maraira, Efat Majuru, 
Ford Kawinda and Nabira Z. Deze uh, Nehara. Nehira. Huh. Further explore this music genre. I think it has a hyperlink if I want to learn more about the music genre. That's kind of neat. I like that. It's factual. The Mibiru instrument originally comes from the Shona people in Zimbabwe. Mibiru music was used for healing and often played originally at religious ceremonies. These ceremonies are called biras, and this is where the name came from. Okay. The clip is a westernized version of the Mibiru designed and marketed in the 1950s by ethnomusicologist -music Hugh Tracy. Ethnomusicologist? I never knew that term existed, but I completely understand it immediately. This is really neat. This, this Okay, clearly the designers of this really cared about music history. I dig this. I gotta share this with Vaughn later. He's he's my he's my music friend. I bet he'd love to know about this, actually. So let's see about this, uh, about this instrument. Okay, what we got? Oh, what the hell? That's like a timing based thing, okay. Does anybody here like music? Does anybody here like music history or is it just me? Interesting, there's like a timing puzzle to this. I need to use the moving blocks to both stop my path and progress my path. When I complete a line though, it stays. Music history, though, like learning about musical instruments, where they came from, the historic, the history of the music itself, stuff like that. Oh, this doesn't help me. Reset. Okay, how do I want to do this? No. See, that doesn't work. Okay. Actually, if I... No, that doesn't work either. Ah, oh, this was a tricky one. Let me think. I guess I would want to... Oh, there we go. That works. Wait, no. No, it doesn't quite. Because getting back to the end point, that's the tricky bit. Oh, there we go. Done. There are multiple answers. I like a puzzle game where there's multiple answers to the puzzles. I was wondering what they meant by a puzzle maze game. Now I understand. It is kind of a maze in a way. This is a good puzzle game too. It's like simple but intuitive. And like it's simple to understand, but obviously it has a lot of complexity where it matters. Also, there are, hi there, Arctic. How you doing? This is Rhythmic, which I just learned about the other day, and I'm like, what is this? And I gotta say, I'm liking this. It's a music puzzle game. This is a pleasant way to end the stream, actually. Just a nice, chill music game. I'm digging. My old back pain. You know, I do too, actually, now that you mention it. I hope your back thing gets better. I'll probably just take a hot bath after this for mine. Hoshko Shakers. Hosko Hosho Shakers. A pair of dried mar maranka gourds filled with seeds from the Hota plant. A uh, maranka or mapudzi is a kind of pumpkin. Fair enough if it's a gourd. Oh, I just realized there's a metronome right here. Okay, hold on. Oh, you know what? Hold on, wait. I think I could do something really fancy if I, if I type this right. Which is, it's actually really hard to get the metronome quite right, though. Gotta be on target. Gotta be perfectly on target. 
See, it's really easy to be off. Can I, like, remove a key if I hit it again? I don't know. Can I make an absolute large amount of noise? This is how you speed run uh, maracas. <laughs> Actually, kind of sounds neat if a little crunchy. <laughs> Alright, next planet. We have a locked Maraca record, basically. Hi, Made of Cheeseburger. You walked in on Rhythmic. It's a music puzzle game. Let's save the planet of Makus next. Okay. The tongues of the Mibira instrument are attached to a wooden box that resonates. These are often made from calabash trees. The Mabira or Kalimba is also called a lamellophone. The instrument is played by plucking little tines. When plucking a tine, the adjacent tine also creates vibrations, giving the instrument its characteristic sound. Many instruments similar to the Mabira can be found. or The, the Mabila is a good example of this. Here the only difference is that the resonator is of the instrument is made from tin cans. On a kalimba, the deepest notes are always in the middle of the instruments, with the higher notes to the far left and right. I was noticing that, it's kind of weird. The Mabira is tuned by adjusting the length of the metal or bamboo tongues. The longer the tongues, the lower the tone. But actually, the grouping of it kind of makes sense why the middle is the lower tones. Yeah. All right, let's let's do this plaid. Mabira is very pretty. It's like a giant kalimba. I've never seen one. In fact, I didn't know it existed before tonight. All right, let's do it. Oh, that's a little blocker. Ah, oh, interesting. I get to, I can block the block. I, I already see how this could be how could this lead to better puzzles. All right, let's see what else we got. So if I'm not careful, they'll get in my way. Okay. Which I might want it sometimes too. Okay. Can I like have it get in my way midway or is it? No. It's all or nothing. I can't stop in midway. I just tested that. This is this is not gonna work. <laughs> okay. I hear you have become sheep. I did ba earlier. <laughs> On high fry rush, we kind of had scores that made me go ba. So I was like, all right, fair enough. I'm, I'm, I, I Esler scored that one. Hmm. Oh, I see. I think. There we go. Relaxing mobile game vibe. It does have that vibe. I better... Actually, with the way it controls, too, how I'm clicking and dragging, I wouldn't be surprised if this was also a mobile game. But I'm not going to disparage it for that, because I would say it's actually a pretty nice mobile game in that case. No, actually. I think I want this up. There we go. There we go. I like you, Nano. Is that allowed? Okay, I think that's allowed. I can cross the same peg twice, it's fine. I should I think be on mobile only means it's lower quality. What do you mean by that? It seems pretty well qual like pretty good quality though. Or or do you mean more of a stigma situation? Because yes, yeah, so you're right in that case.
This is a trickier one. Let's see if I do that. Left first? Okay, let's try that. You can do a partial solve, but... Here's the problem, I get dead-ended if I go this way, though. Ah, here we go. That was a complex one. That took a little bit. That took a little bit of circuit circuitous movement. <laughs> Marimba, a percussionist, insisted that wooden bars that you strike with rubber bellets. The modern Zimbabwean marimba was developed in the 60s at the Kawan. Kawanangoma College in Buwalawayo, Zimbabwe, with the intention to teach mu children music in schools. Neat. I'll, I'll do a little something. That probably will sound terrible. Don't mind me. Okay, let's see. This actually gave me quite a few keys. Alright. Time it on the metronome, actually. Even if it's random, it still sounds kind of fun. That kind of works. <laughs> yeah, they are quantized, so you can't go too off rhythm. We've done it. Now what? We've saved the Oryx system, I think. <laughs> cool. And now we have choices. What color would you like me to go for? Tell me your favorite color. Did you say you could change the tempo? I'm not sure. Blue, green, blue, pink. Two votes for blue. I'm gonna say this one down here is purple, by the way. It's a little bit different from this one. Two votes for pink, one vote for pink, two for blue, one for green, one for red. We'll be able to do blue. Ooh, the Zara news, what? Zara Sun. The music in this, oh, this music in, okay, so, Obviously, that 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 planet that, that those three planets that solar system was you know kind of African percussive instruments. Now this is says um, the music in this solar system is inspired by Ethiopian jazz from the sixties and seventies. Ethios Ethiopian jazz, sure, why not? I don't actually know what that really means. Thinking about it. So yeah, each solar system will be a different genre. That's kind of neat. I like that. What do we got? E okay, Ethio Jazz is a unique mix of traditional Ethiopian music, jazz, Afro-funk, soul, and Latin music. That is an that is that is a fusion for sure. Ethiopian jazz music has its first golden age between the late 60s and until 1974, where the military dictatorship closed down the music scene in Addis Ababa. Two of the most famous record labels for the 60s and 70s include Ama and Kaifa. All right. I'm just like, this isn't it. I like music. I like genre fusions I've never heard of. So let's see how this sounds. Listen, I generally like jazz. So if it has some elements of jazz. Oh. So I just wait. Oh, I, I, since I can move this. Okay, okay. I see how it works. Good night to you, hated. Mm. 
Oops. Interesting. Either. Hmm. What if I move the block while. Okay, it doesn't let me. Yeah. Well, the path ends there, I cannot push these. So if it moves the. Yeah, okay, so. Makes sense. Would a dot float? No. Like I said, dot cannot end cannot end the dot. Uh, dot cannot be on the moving pieces. So, kind of like fair enough, really. Uh, just occurred to me something. Maybe. Damn, not quite. Where this music goes, I'm kind of curious. Okay. Oh, I see. I don't think that quite works. Let's see. Oh, that works. No, that works. Grab it. There we go. Oh. Okay, what do we got here? Okay. And pushing that way. Alright, this is where things get a little more complicated. Alright, so, yeah, okay. Actually, wait. Try a different direction. Maybe it's down to this one first. Oh. Not quite. But getting closer. Think start left. That's kinda where I did start though. I was thinking going the other way too. I don't think, yeah, it's not the direct path won't work because. Yeah. Alright, I got it. That was actually where it needed to be. There. Like, it didn't solve it, but it showed me how to solve it, that one. 
Because I just realized I could just make a detour at the beginning. <laughs> No trouble. I like this. Sounds like the music you hear at a really laid back bar or something. I like it. Vibraphone! A vibraphone is in the percussion family. It consists of two metal bars and is played with four soft pellets. Mulatto Astaka, one of the most famous musicians from the FEO jazz scene, played the vibraphone. A person playing the vibraphone is called a vibraphonist or vib vibra harpist. Vibra harp? Really? Related to the harp now? Interesting. Let's see here. Oh, sorry, I can hit multiple notes at once, I just realized. As many as I want, it seems. Is, if you think with jazz, you can play whatever the fuck you want. It's freestyle jazz. You can just do whatever you want. <laughs> jazz is very freeform. We have done it. The vibraphone record. Hooray. This is actually really... I, this is chill. I like this game. This is a vibe. Honestly, two, I like how we play two music games today, and they're both vibes in their own way. It's very nice. So, he went here. The most well-known uh, Western instruments for Ethiopian jazz music includes vibraphone, saxophone, percussion, organ, guitar, bass, and vocal. Some of the more rare instruments used in Ethiopian music include the karar. K-R-A-R. Karar. Karar. It kind of sounds like an animal sound. Rawr! Karar! <laughs> Uh, Begina and Mas Masekno instruments. From 1974 and until 1991, a lot of the popular FEO jazz was censored by the military jun junta as it was considered Western import and mainly patriotic songs were practiced. Hmm. Good night to you, cheeseburger. Okay, we got some nice... Let's see here, then. Also, I do appreciate the aesthetics. They're simple, but they pop really nicely, don't they? It's very, it's very uh, enjoyable to look at. Ooh, that pushes the whole thing. Okay. Oh, but if I push, it actually leaves the, oh, they'll use the peg. Hmm. Have to think about that. Let me go this way first. All right, can't end with the block of that position. All right, let's see. There. Oops, sorry. Hmm. Actually, very limited moves on this one. Music has a really dark tone, doesn't it? it feels like creeping around in the darkness. I like it. It 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 is familiar to some genre stuff I know of, but like it's different too.
Wait, does this block even technically do anything? I just realized, like, wait a minute. Not really. Move the middle block. Oh, oh, oh! Good point. I didn't even think about that. You move it with multiple things now. All right. That's an excellent point. So it's getting a little extra complex now. Question is. Well, I can put it a lot of places actually if I want to. So what's the best position for it? At least to start out. See, I can't... <sighs> this was the trickier one for me. Because of the amount I can move it around. Basically, I move between those three positions. So... Put it in the center, let's me wrap around for all of them. It'd be like, move it over, like... Do I want to do this? I guess I do just want to... Okay, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, well, hmm. Sort of understand. Okay, hold on. Ooh. I'm not sure. Okay, so don't go up. All right. Um. Yeah, I see your point. <laughs> Say oh, because it's like oh, this is getting complex. Hmm. There. I do the multiple ways is really helping me out because if there's only one way, I might be stuck for a long time. But if I can. If got another solution, then it helps out a lot. I have unlocked! Congas! Those are big drums. This drum originates from Cuba and is often played in pairs of two. The drum was originally paired used in conga music, which is also where the name originates from. Exactly. Let's play something really silly.
I got a bit of a bop there. <laughs> cool. DK! DK! <laughs> Alright, one more planet. Hello there, Yamhead. Private investigator. Yeah, right? This music just sounds like you'd hear it in a noir or something. Alright, let's do... This planet is locked. Unlock complete Alu and the system Kalo. Oh, I have to come back later. What else is there to do but Alu, I suppose? Okay. Alright, what well, alright, in that case, what solar system should we do next? Oh well, it's, there's a line connected here. Sure. Let's go to well, here's Alu, actually. Here's Kalo. The music in this solar system is inspired by Hawaiian music from the golden years between 1930 and 1960. Ooh, Hawaiian music. I dig. Alu. Mexican cowboys introduced the Spanish guitar in Hawaii in the late 19th century. Mexican, you know, the, the old, the old, the great Mexican cowboy raid of Hawaii that happened. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, sure. The Hawaiians chose to detune, detune the Spanish guitar into what is known as a slack key. Still guitar music from Hawaii uses a slight guitar technique inspired a lot of American country music. Another note of appreciation is that this music isn't commonly heard about in Wyrmia. Yeah, it's like un it's like unusual genres and fusions that you are, don't popularly hear. I like it. I like that a lot. Okay. Oh, ooh, look at this water! I guess it makes sense that it's why. Drag the ice cube around in the level. Ah, it's another element that I can slide around. Okay. I understand. Hawaiian cowboys. Hawaii has a little cowboy town. I did not know of this. That's a that's kind of amazing, actually. Ah, I think I just... No, that doesn't really help. Okay. Does... Hmm. How can I make this ice cube work for me? Ice cube work for me. That's what's currently on my way. Like, how am I going to use this? Oh, uh, well, no. Oh, 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 there we go. Ah, ha, ha. Okay. Yeah. Learn about it in Pokemon Sun and Moon. That's cool. My path also affects it, so there's a lot. There's actually a lot you can do with this. Okay. Aw, oh, dang it. That doesn't solve it. Not quite. Though, now that I've done that, now the ice cube's in a different position, starting over, I now have entirely different. Yeah. I, I, I don't know if that's useful, but it might be. Hmm. So how am I going to use it? Well, ways I can can use it technically. Yeah, it's like I can I can do some paths, move the ice cube, and then restart my path to get a different positioning. Slight ice northwest and make it an eight. Make an eight. Whoops, I didn't mean to solve it. I'm trying to think what you mean by an eight. 
Oh, here we go. That was... Oh, wait. Oh, 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 so close, actually. Not quite, though. Let's see. I feel like what I need is... I don't quite understand what that means with a, with a blocky asymmetric uh, style game. <laughs> Actually, uh, admittedly, I don't I don't quite understand figure eight. Slide ice after you connect to. Uh, okay. Yeah, sometimes the puzzle will stop me a little bit. Oh, here we go. No, that doesn't. No. Earth. Apparently I keep almost having it. I don't see it myself. I put the ice cream in the middle again. It's most useful there. Alright, let's see. Can I say I keep having it when I do this? No, wait, not that. Yes. <laughs> That was different, I will say that. Didn't have that result before. Oh, that's what you meant by an eight? Okay, fair enough. But it's kind of oblong, man. Oof. Ah, I see. I see. Then let's. Ah, maybe. No. Uh, 
this, that doesn't really help me. <laughs> okay, let's see. What can this ice cube do for me? Ah, uh, I think I get it. No, I can't put it there, though. Uh, let's see. Ah, to the other direction. That works. Yeah, that's just a case of getting the ice out of the way. Alright, fair enough. Hodge. Yeah, that will do. I thought so. I was like, that ice cube over there will probably do something for me. Hey, hey, Chris Electric guitar! Oh, that's a really cool version of it. The steel guitar is especially known for the gliding tones. The guitar is placed horizontally, played horizontally, placed on the knees, and the tones are changed by moving a still bar against the strings. The special guitar technique was originally invented by Joseph Kakuku around 1890 in Hawaii. It's a very lazy way to play, I like it. Oh. oh this is different, okay. <laughs> All right, can I do the next planets? Or do I have to switch solar systems again? Okay, I can do another one. Besides the Spanish guitar, the ukulele and the steel guitar are well-known instruments used in Hawaii music. Hawaii music. Uh, the music made between 1930 and 1960 is often referred to, referred to as the Golden Age of Hawaiian music. Falsetto singing is often used in traditional Hawaiian music. This is also called Leo Ki Eki Ke, or high voice. Hawaiian falsetto singing differentiates from Western falsetto in the way that the transition to the high notes is exaggerated. Are we going to get some uh, singing in this one? Let's see. I see the I see the trickiness here, yeah, okay. Though there. It's a simple path though, honestly, with the right arrangement. Music class. It is basically this would be actually a really good music class video game. Uh, I was like, how do I get in the right position? So. Okay, cool. So now it's straight forward. Hawaii music is always pretty dang chill. How do I want this? I'll do. Oops. Let to go down first. <laughs> Having an easier time with these puzzles. Okay. Let's see, where do I well, where do I want to put this ice cube? Uh several places, really. Um just here for starters, and then 
loop it all the way around and then follow it. There. I only came here during the private lesson. Oh. That's fine. It's not that private. We're live streaming it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, once again, I've, I've learned a trick, so there. I'm, okay, I'm definitely rocking through this planet really fast. Privet, a privet investigator. What's a privet? <laughs> I don't understand. Done. <laughs> that was easy. I think that was my fastest clear of a planet. <laughs> Kala, Kala Ao. A Ao? The Kala Ao is a pair of wooden concussion sticks used as a percussive instrument by striking them together. The instrument is often used to accompany traditional dance along with hula singing. Concussion sticks just sounds like a word for something you hit somebody over the head with to knock about. Concussion sticks. More, more. <laughs> Name for a hammer? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, but I think your joke is just flying completely over me. Oh, we can do last planet here. Very good. Let's do it. The different styles of playing the guitar, such as sliding, hammering on, and pulling and pulling of, mimics the falsettos and vocal breaks in Hawaiian singing. Elvis Presley loved Hawaiian music, which also inspired a lot of his work. The laid-back and friendly tone of the Hawaiian music was highly popular in some of the harder periods of history, including World War II and the Great Depression. Some people say the music welcomed an opportunity to escape world-world problems. I, I, yeah, I definitely see what they're going on. It is very... Much like, you know, it's very Hukuto Matata, honestly. Hmm. Ah. Ah. Hold on a minute. I need to think about this. I can't get it past there, but if I could drop it... Okay, I guess maybe the other direction would work, actually. There we go. If I need to be complicated, just go the other direction. <laughs> Wait, your your work is literally hired a private investigator now? I thought you were joking at first. A company cards is being charged in the thousands. Oof, where do you work again? I don't have the ice cube. <laughs> Took it. Oh, I see a problem. Okay, this ice cube is kind of in the way, to put it very simply. But now it's not. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Dental. So a uh, so a company card in your dental profession. Okay. Jeez, well, I hope they can figure out what the hell is going on there. I think about it, that's really unnecessary when you have that ice cube. I see. Put it over here then. Ah! 
I like this game. Okay. Huh. I see the problems here. I know for a fact I need to go up first. Yeah, I need to go up first, absolutely. Because we have to go blah, 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 and then do, do, do to end, I think. Question is, how do we do that movement? Wait. It's actually really simple. Okay, where does this need to be? Ah. Ah, not quite. Ah, uh, Ice Cube, you saved me and now you're in my... Sliding. Bugger. Alright, let's see. Bumbled into the solution. Alright, that works. Or a solution, I should say. from the lute instrument. Yep. It is a small string instrument similar to a guitar of only four nylon strings and comes in different sizes. The first ukulele was invented in Portugal, but it was in Hawaii that the instrument got popularized. Have a ukulele? They're a really chill instrument to play. They're very twangy, but in a fun way, not in an unpleasant way. Hooray! Another orbit complete. We can go back to blue to finish up blue. Let's just say we have to bounce around. I'm not sure why they did that, but it's fine. So, a canet is describing both the musical scale as well as the tuning of the traditional instruments used in Ethio jazz. There are four main canets Tizita, Ambassel, Bati, and Anchihoi, which I almost want to say Anchovy. <laughs> there are many wonderful Ethiopian artists and bands. Some of them are, oh god, Melodu. At Astake, uh, Getachu Mekuria, Vekadu Amd Meskel, and 
Mahmoud Ahmed with the Ibix Band. Ah. Mullah Iskate is often referred to as the godfather of Ethio Jazz. As Tak is, among other things, famous for fusing the pentatonic five tone scale, often used in jazz, with more traditional Ethiopian scales, giving the music a spe special soulful feeling. Why'd the godfather of Ethiopian music have to have the hardest to spell name of all of them? <laughs> Just, oh well. <laughs> What's this cube do? It's, oh, it's just another, just another ice cube. Oh shit, it's, it's combining things. Uh, oh, that's why it forced me to go to Hawaii first. Do the Hawaiian world first, because... It introduced, this has, this mixes the mechanics of this world, of this solar system, with the mechanics of the Hawaiian solar system. Basically, ice cubes and moving blocks. Interesting. So what do we want to do here? Move the ice to lope. To lope? To lope. Ah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Sorry, I spent more time thinking about what you meant by your sentence than actually using critical thinking. <laughs> oh, this is an organ, okay. It's a very poignant organ. organ. <laughs> I think I want that there. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like Kind of horror music, almost like a little bit campy horror organ. I dig. Okay, there's not many places I can move this ice cube, but I think I want it here. Yes. I'm sorry. The ice cube moved to this middle square and sunk in the <coughs> sunk in the ground. What the, what, happened, what happened there? <coughs> that was weird. I need to work it backwards. It's faster that way. Like I get it. I figured it out faster that way. Like to complete this loop, I need the ice cube here. All right, move the ice cube there. There. Figure out where the ice cube should go, and then figure out how to put it there. That's the way to do the ice cubes. Electric guitar. The electric guitar is used in Ethio jazz were mainly hollow body jazz guitars, often combined with so-called wah-wah effect pedals. I also like this. I'm really vibing with this. This is like a wind down game, doesn't it? Like, you're trying to wind down. You want to play a game, but you want to wind down while doing so? This is a good game for that. And learn a little bit about music history along the way. I might just play this to finish the stream. Just might finish the game. 
Looks like we're half done, basically. Well, three out of four. Three out of seven, rather. What is the Burgundy planet? I I'm really curious what the next planet's genre will be, so let's see what the next one is. German electronic music from the 60s and 70s inspired the music of the solar system. I'm immediately interested. Nah, I think I'll just play it, Kai. I feel like I feel like just play it. Feeling feeling okay right now. Let's vibe it out. Anybody I think our Germans are all in bed right now. I thought that said burp at first. <laughs> okay, what what's the gimmick here? Oh. Oh! Oh ho ho! Now we're playing with portals. <laughs> also, the world structure. Look at this thing. Okay, so. Alright. It is technically morning, yeah. <laughs> for them. Oh, this is honestly more solvent itself right now. Oh, that vintage electronic music. Love it. If I get better at the puzzle solving, we'll actually speed through it pretty long. It won't be a super long session if I, if I get my vibe on. Oh, whoops. Dar derp. <laughs> Went wrong way. Uh, hit like this. Nope, not like that. So it's gonna keep going the same direction, technically. There we go. <laughs> it's a bit of an out box thinking with these. That was the plant blip. <laughs> Synthesizer! The most well-known synthesizers are the ones controlled by the keyboard. A synthesizer can produce a wide range of sounds and noises. The sound is generated from various oscillators, filters, and electronic circuits. Oh, well, they're giving me a lot of keys, actually. Let's just hit buttons. Yay, it sounds great! Noise! <laughs> so I can play with instruments, I am... I never grew up. <laughs> Heimat. The electronic music in Germany in the 70s was part of the so-called Krautrock scene. <laughs> Krautrock, okay. It was also known as the uh, Kosmische Musik and was a broad experimental rock scene mixing elements from psychedelic rock, avant-garde, and electronic tape music. The term synthesizer was introduced in 1956 with the RCA Electronic Music si Synthesizer Mark I. In the 1960s, the synthesizer became part of of the popular music, for those who could afford it. The Beatles were some of the first popular music bands to introduce a synthesizer on the album Abbey Road from 1969. Okay, what we got going on on this planet? Okay. That won't work. Actually, I'm kind of curious what... Okay. Because that's going to dead end, yeah. So... Oh, yeah, it's a little cross through. Um, there. Not quite. Close, but no cigar. Hmm. No. Yeah, no again. There we go.
Oh, we got a, got a bit of a beat there. What's the right way to do this one? Yep. Hurry, I solved it with doing nothing. It's actually kind of impressive in its own right. Uh, let's see. Ah, yep. uh, here we go. I think I've done it. Well... Yep. Oh, it just, won't, just completely rejects. I was wondering if it would just hit and stop. No. Okay. You had it. Did I? I mean the previous run where I where I kind of got through without actually solving anything. Okay. Oh, is that? Oh no, no. Wait. Ah, no, no, nope. You're wrong. This doesn't lead to a solution. Cause it's that end over here. There is no solution with that path. Also, this is kind of a fun one though. It's just pretty easy. You just kind of, you could just kind of throw, you could just throw out a result around, and see what happens. Yep. Yep. So yeah, before actually solving it. Well, it's really difficult when somebody says, "I you, hey, you had it." I don't know which attempt I had it. You know. Like, people could say I had it, but I don't know for sure if they're talking about the attempt I just did or not, because, you know, delay, latency. It's very hard to tell. Oops. Stream delay is mainly what I'm talking about, yeah. Aha! Very fun. This is a very funky base. Ooh. Hmm. Ah. Ah. That seems very close. What did I do wrong? Bip, boop. Well, this space light is pretty fun pretty funky, honestly. <laughs> Ooh. That thing makes a noise. Wait, what? Okay, yeah. Well no. Not quite. That'll just solve it, yeah. Let's see. Yep. Oh, there we go. Low pass filter. The filter is one of the most essential elements of a synthesizer. There are many types of filters, and the design of the filters are often what characterizes the sound of the synthesizer. Box! Lynch music! Oh, 
I'll take it. <laughs> Clang. That's the next one. Some of the essential elements of a synthesizer include oscillators, filters, and amplitude envelopes. Two of the early engineers of synthesizers were Don Blusha and Robert Roberg Moog, both started in the 1960s, where Moog synthesizers were controlled with a traditional keyboard. The Buchla systems mainly had experimental interfaces. Well, wasn't that rain? Some of the most famous legendary synthesizers include the ARP 2600, the Mini Moog, the Mini Moog. That is a wonderful name for a synthesizer. The OBX and the Buchla's modular electronic music system. Mini Moog just sounds like some sort of minion. <laughs> Ah, we have an ice cube. Oh. So that's how it's going to be. Okay. Ice cubes also teleport. <laughs> but to what end, I ask? Oh, I see to what end. I understand. Yep. Okay, now there's no concerns about going the wrong direction. What am I doing? <laughs> still gotta do it the right direction. Uh, still have to solve the rest of it the right way, though. Which, uh... Nope, not quite. Hey, first try, did I? I'm pretty sure the ice cube needs to be up there. Order being a red herring is possible, actually. Yep. It's just it took a while. It took a bit of effort to get it into the corner, so I felt like the right move. Yep. So I'm going to try something. How about instead of actively getting in the corner, I... Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> that works. That was a weird solution, but it worked. <laughs> I don't know if that was the intended solution. I have a feeling it wasn't. if I need to not go there. Okay, hold on. No, I'm trying to grab them. There we go. I don't know what I'm trying to achieve here. Let's see. Either I can't move the ice cube or the ice cube goes into a dead end. Ah, wait. No, I don't... Hmm. What can this achieve for me? What, what can I do with this ice cube? Wait. 
Ah, yeah, that's it. I was like, ah, I can also put it over there. Okay. That wasn't full clear. Hold on. <laughs> Wait, what? It wasn't? Huh, I thought I had it. That was a surprisingly straight line, actually. Yep. Ha! There it is. I'm getting the hang of this. That's a neat dog quote. dog quote. I care not much for a man's religion whose dog and cat are not the better for it. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one, isn't it? Thoughtful, too. Ah, okay. I see the gold ice cube. Which... Let's see. The gold of the ice cube is pretty simple. How do I achieve it? Good night to you, Rocky. Delay! A delay is one of the most essential effects on a synthesizer. This effect is made by recording the signal and playing it back into the system after some time. This can, among other things, be used to s for simulating a room or reverb effect or simply make the sound wider. No brick. <laughs> but that's kind. You know what? Actually, I might take Car's advice. Because that's another soul system done, and with that, I actually am feeling pretty tired. I think I'll save the other three plans for later. There might be also, like, some stuff after that. I don't know. It is quite late. It is indeed quite late, and I do have to stream tomorrow, too, so... We shall do the Outer Rim Planets on another random run. Maybe I'll... I don't know. Just on a grab bag day. We'll come back to this. Uh, yeah, so it looks like you know, a little over half done. Hmm. Actually, let's look at the symbols real fast for the other planets. What do you think they might be? Hyperstition? St Stition? That and that. I wonder what the others will be. Like, I wonder what genre is, I wonder what, we're, what uh, you know, geographical region we're going to be working in for the last three solar systems. I guess we'll see. Closest one's Korean. That would not be surprising. Korea, Korea does have multiple genres they've uh, adapted and come up with on their own. So, I guess we'll find out next time I play this, because this is a good stopping point. Yeah, I don't, I, I, let me actually check here. I think it, I do believe... I'm going to check the Ritmos page, because you guys may be curious. Uh, Epic's Game Store, Steam, and Switch. Oh! 
is this, does that mean, is, well, I guess it's technically mobile if it's on Switch, but no, it's actually not a mobile game. Surprisingly enough, it's not a mobile game from what I can gather. That's kind of neat. It'd be fine if it was, I wouldn't be, like, mad or anything, it's just, yeah. But yeah, so that was Ritmos, and that's really nice. I like this one. This is a nice experience. And I like learning about music history, so I would have to say that they have done a really good job. I could tell the people producing this are passionate about music, and I like that. I like that quite a bit. So, would I recommend uh, Ritmos? Absolutely. If you like music, if you have any appreciation for music, and unusual genres that are less common than, you know, your typical genres that you hear. Check this game out. I think you'll have a good time of it. It's also just a nice puzzle game. It's, it, like, it makes you think a little bit, but it never gets overly complex. This is the sort of puzzle game I like, where I do feel good for solving it, but it never gets too overwhelming. Uh, it's, it's pleasant. It's a nice rhythm, ironically enough, of a puzzle game, you know. Something that doesn't get you stuck in too long. I've had a f only a few moments where I got a little bit stuck, but not that long, really, compared to some puzzle games that can have you stuck for literally an hour, you know. Ritmos here is a lot more chill than that, and I like it. So uh, check it out if you're interested. I recommend it. This has a really cool art style and a really cool musical style. It, I, this vibes really well. So check it out if you're interested.